Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of iNews, the In World's News show. So we have all sorts of things to go over today. Uh, yeah, actually, we do. But first, I'm going to introduce my lovely co-host, Wolfie Hartnell. Hey, Wolfie. Hey. Hi, everybody. Another day, another day of me torturing you. Indeed. Lucky guy. It's uh, costing me a fortune in therapy. I, you know, uh, I news on a Wednesday once a month and every Thursday in therapy to get over it. But and it's you got me it. in the dev chat. Yay! Anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For a, our show host, to our show guest host, to guest, I can't even talk today. It must be the wind going through my brain or something. Um, <laughs> we have the maker of shoes that is not necessarily new to our group, but she's making a pretty big splash. And I like to say she's making an avatar's pretty one foot at a time. Miss Ellie Monk from Shoeneek. Hi, Ellie. Hello. Let's see everyone. You can't steal my slogan. Just saying. But one shoe at a time. One foot at one, a time. One foot at a time. Sorry, I'd forgotten it already. Okay. Really? <laughs> Really? This is why I torture you. You I'm wonder? If one shot in, I'll have the entire show. I'm getting it in advance. Oh, my gosh. I well, my actual motto is shoes to kill for. Uh, don't tell Callie that because I'm pretty sure that she, will. she threatens. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she will. Callie will. Yeah. Yes. So don't give her that. Please don't tell her that. Please. Well, she, because say, she, couldn't, she couldn't make it this week. So. We could have as long as nobody time. passes it on. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, I have to say, so, so the feet that I'm wearing, uh, which we'll get into in a, in, in a minute here, I just got to say to all you ladies who wear all this mesh stuff, dude, you have way more patience than I ever thought I could possibly have. Just, I'm just saying. Um, so I just want you guys to know that. Uh, but first, let me let me let me do my, my other thing. So, as you guys all know, last week was our week from hell for the grid in nine years. The only other time we've ever had that kind of downtime, which this actually exceeded, I actually counted up the hours, believe it or not, was when we actually moved from carry.net to rack space. We were down for twenty two and a half hours. Yeah, that and puts it in perspective. Yes, yes. That was that was many, many moons ago at this point. Um, other than planned maintenance times and, and taking down of regions and rollouts, et cetera, we really haven't had any true, quote, downtime. There's never been a time since then that you were not actually able to at least get to IDI or the sandboxes or some region. You were able to get somewhere, somewhere in the grid. And I also, let me apologize. It's very, very windy here in Panama right now, so you're going to hear some wind in my background because um, it's like super duper duper windy today. Um, and uh, so if, if you hear that in the background, my apologies. Um, so anyways, as a lot of you know, we, we put a Discord in place and uh, because most of you are here, as a matter of fact, in our Discord. But if you're not, you really should. You don't have to be on there to talk to everybody or, or anything like that. But it is a great way for me to relay information when things are going on with the grid. Um, Jim's also in there, and so if he's doing rollouts and whatnot, a lot of times he'll answer questions that you guys may have right then and there. Um, so it's a really good source for just some quick information when you need it, because let me put it to you this way. With what I was going through with Brackspace last week, it was harder for me to keep writing up forum posts than it was to just throw little bits into the actual chat to let you guys know that things were moving and things were working and, and what we were doing. It's, it's very fast for me to just multitask a simple sentence into you guys and then you guys can disperse the information as needed. And it really did help because <clears throat> we picked up a lot of new users and it was really great to see everybody come in. And like I say, you don't have to be on all the time. You can log out, just leave it there. But it is when there's something going on, it's a great way to be able to just log in and do a quick check of, hey, is anybody else having issues? So um, it's a really great, helpful group. And uh, I have to say, watching you guys just chat and joke and have there was not one single solitary mean comment at all during the 17 hours that the grid was down that night that day so i want to give big kudos to everybody for keeping it warm and friendly and welcoming and although we all got asked about a bazillion times is the grid down is the grid down is the grid down you guys were awesome because your patience of just Constantly answering, yes, it's down. We know it's down. She's working on it. You guys were fantastic. So I just, I really wanted to give a big shout out. And 
And because of all that work, I got this really cool prize on top of my head. It's it's Judy Dressler's heli, heli hat. And I promised her that I would wear it for the show. And it does all these really, really cool things. Like, um, okay, so first, first we're going to do this. Hear that? I'm scanning. I'm scanning your ideas, man. And then you can do up things like this. It's got a whole little menu thingy. It's really cool. And she's got it for for biggies and dinkies. So if you want one, talk to Judy. I have I have no idea if she sells them or if she's giving them away. But I promised her I would wear this because it was just so cool. And it, it may not match my outfit, but I'm I'm okay with that. I, I probably should have made sure Wolf had one on too, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any brains in there to wake up. So it's it's all good. Oh, yeah, Wonderful. I went there, Wolfie. <laughs> I'm keeping count. <laughs> well I done. just got even. <laughs> um, so there is that. Also, uh, we have, as you all know, our in world's birthday uh, for nine years coming up. And I'm going to be putting out some pictures here fairly soon because the project is moving ahead and there's a really awesome build that's going into place. And I know that they have just been working their little hearts out over there. I've seen some pictures from, from Matt Fa Foxclaw and Tiana and Old Soul and so many. And Rig, Rig sending me pictures like all the time, which I absolutely adore. Um, so there's a, that's, that's going on. And if you don't know anything or you want to volunteer or if we need DJs, et cetera, please get a hold of Astoria or events coordinator or old soul Eldemar, and they will be happy to help you out. So did I think, did I get all my, did I get my announcements all done? I think I got all my announcements done. Oh, no, one more. So due to the grid outage from last week, I have put off maintenance to give you guys about a week or so of just sort of chilling and relaxing. And we will probably start maintenance up again on the servers next week. So I did not forget people. I'm just letting you know that I thought it was kind of beneficial if we just had a week of nothing going on. Just everybody at their regions doing what they love to do. So there's my, my announcement. So I'm just giving everybody a heads up before they ask me. So Wolf, anything from you that you want to throw out there for everybody? Um, I probably ought to mention the marketplace since it's still not back up. Um, there's some stuff came out of um, out of the testing um, stuff when the grid was off. Um, so I want to go back and rethink some of the in-world devices so I don't get spammed with, I think, three and a half thousand um, emails. Um, so I'm looking at a different way of handling the errors. Um, if it goes on for very much longer, I'm going to put the old marketplace back up so that people can use that. It's not an ideal solution and it will cost me more money than I can really afford, but I don't want people to be without the marketplace any longer. So that might come back as it is for a little while while I get the new version up and running. So okay, well, and one thing that Wolf and I talked about um, since uh, we, we, we talked in the dev chat, and I was going through some of our, our, our things uh, are little bits and bobs of, of things that we've put together over the years that I think sort of got forgotten about. And uh, one of the things that, that Wolfie's going to be uh, putting in is going to be the DreamShare again. So for those of you who don't know, mm -hmm. DreamShare is um, it's just a little package that we have that allows you to uh, put your objects into a web viewer and you can zoom it, you can turn it around, you can rotate it, do all that, just get a good look at it. Um, yeah, D Bensky could put a demo in the video. Um, it's really neat. And that way, so you'll have the only problem is that it doesn't do materials at this time, but we can probably fix that fairly easily. Um, so you'll have the picture from the actual creator of how it looks, but then you'll be able to get a nice close up look at it in, in a 3D viewer. It works in any browser. So you'll just be able to open your browser, click the link, and boom, there it is. Yeah. Um, it just takes a minute for it to load all the objects. So you guys need to remember that. It does, does take a few minutes to load up all the objects to actually view, but it has a counter, so it tells you. Yeah. It will be in with the, the general sort of gallery this time rather than just being a, a page on the links that people quite often don't look at. Um, I'm actually going to embed it into the gallery with the images. So it will be a really, really good way for people to get a closer view at your products. Um, it's pretty easy to set up. So... Um, it's just a case of putting everything, um, you're putting the object into a, a specific folder and then going through the website. It's really, really useful. Yeah, so uh, that's just something that we had been talking about uh, and getting getting that going again because we were pretty sure DreamShare got forgotten about. 
and that's no bueno. So we have it, we should be using it. So everybody, um, we might be actually putting together a contest for the dream share again. Um, so that we can get people involved in doing it again. Uh, that's part of the push, as I, I mentioned back in the roadmap, that uh, we're going to be making a push for the, the fact that Inworlds is not just about the nightclubs and the DJs. We love our nightclubs. We love our DJs. We, we love our artists. We love all those. But we really want to show off what the possibilities are of actual Inworlds and, and beyond the scope of just the, you know, well, come in and go dancing and things like that. Um, so we really, really want to make sure that we that we start focusing on some of that. Um, so I have to put together some some categories of what I'm looking for, et cetera, and then put together the prizes. So that's going to be coming. So look for that probably in the next 30 days because I have a lot going on, obviously. But um, we definitely want to get that contest going for you guys. Um, so that's going to be the the next big big thing. And uh, I think that covers all of the announcements now, right? I think so. Okay. So we've ignored poor Miss Ellie here for like way too long now. That's so, okay, right. let's talk, let's talk about my feet. So my feet are from you, obviously. <laughs> and Callie gave me these feet because she knows how much oh. I love to run around barefoot. I have two sets of these. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, okay. I, I have to tell you, cause I, I do run around barefoot all the time. Uh, so my only request to you as a founder is, could I please have some that are not high heeled? I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I do have flat ones. Um, <gasps> I, think and I, I, can, I can get them made and, um, sorted. Yeah. And I'll pass them over to you. No worries. Oh, that'd be great. So, um, I gotta tell you ladies, man, I was, I was putting together my feet and it was funny because I, I told my family, I said, you know, I got to go lug into Inworlds because it takes me like 30 minutes to change my clothes, right? And I was only being facetious because really I'm actually a very fast dresser just like I am in real life. I mean, I kind of sort of know what I like and what I want to wear, et cetera. These feet took me 15 minutes. I don't know how you ladies do it with hands and feet and skin tones. And I have no idea but you have like my yeah, you massive can position them a little bit better than that. <laughs> yeah, I it's, could. It's the I outfit, could. isn't it, that caused the problem? Because they take a little what? while to render, and you don't know whether they're working or not. Uh, El Ellie's big, Elania's big. This Ellie thing is just going to confuse the hell out of me. Um, <laughs> but Elania, you're already confused. Whenever, well, exactly. <laughs> I could do with no more confusion. Two one. I'm still keeping track. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you beat me by too much. I simply won't play next time. Well, um, you missed all the stuff from before the, the show. So, you know, hey. <laughs> um, no, I mean, when you were saying earlier about trying to get changed, it's it's the alphas, I think, that are the biggest problem for people. Um, oh, they are. Outfits, oh, you know? they okay. So, they don't render straight away. So, you, you well, and no, it's not thinking, even that. You know what you my know? issue is? So, here I am. Okay. So, look at my, look at, look at my outfit, right? So, here I am. And Ast was really great. She's, she's like, well, just just make a, a, an alpha mask and check off the ones that you don't want, right? But there's a problem there. Look at this outfit. If I was, these shorts are mesh, the top is not. And the reason why is because I needed the mesh for my feet. Because obviously I don't want to look like a four-footed, like, goat thing, right? And this is not your fault, Ellie. Trust me. That I'm just sort of ranting. <laughs> okay. um, I, I have I have the, I have the four-footed foot problem or I have no legs. There's no way to really like, you know, balance all that. I don't know if there's even a good good answer to that or a good fix to it. I just know that after trying to tweak with all of this today, I was I was a little frustrated. Little. Wee bit. That's why my hat's off to all the ladies out there because I see some of you ladies running around and you got your hair perfect, you got your skin perfect, you got your nails perfect, you got your feet perfect. And I'm just like, I so don't have that kind of time. Ain't nobody got time for that. What you need is somebody to give you a couple of pro tips. Don't well. go there. <laughs> I think no. another. I think another. I think another issue is the fact is that people don't add, add things because if you just yes. wear, it just takes the stuff off. You have to keep adding because you can put several alphas on different parts of the body. So yeah, I, think, I thought about that, but I, I just wasn't thinking. This one, I don't think actually comes. With, I mean, it may. I don't know. It was just. It, there's just so much to work. But it, honestly, it was really cool because I, I do have to say I, I dinked with the, the HUD, and I think considering my basic inexperience with um, 
with body parts. Uh, I did pretty good for matching, at least skin tone wise. Yeah, you did actually. Yeah, you did yeah. pretty well. Yeah. I mean, I don't just, just do shoes. I mean, I work up the body. I do do clothes. Um, and I've just opened a, a wedding store. I mean, it was a, a lady in my group asked me, said, are you doing wedding gowns and stuff for weddings? And I said, well, yeah, I do. I can make, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I decided to make up, um, do a wedding store. But she said there's nothing much in, in worlds for that. So I decided to make gowns, shoes, matching shoes, the whole set, bouquets, wedding cakes, invitations, and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Nice. I don't know whether there's a lot of that in worlds. I mean, I'm fairly new to here, really. Um so I'm just bringing everything in that I can possibly can. And also, I'm not just going to be catering for shoes and clothes. I'm going to also be doing men's as well, men's department. Because I know you're a bit oh, short on that as well. Oh, the men so much love on this we grid. Do. We yeah. do. And yeah, so I'm bringing in men's. Um, I'm making mesh clothes at the moment so for men. So I'll bring that in and shoes, outfits and Excellent. stuff. Excellent. Yep. I'm so, happy. yeah. So I will be catering uh, for everybody. It won't be just for women. Dude, I'm telling you, the, the men on this grid, they are just, they're so ignored. It's so sad. I don't I mind them begging me at the door. I don't mind. We're, we're horribly <laughs> neglected here. It's, you know, careful it's, it's there, difficult. lady. Careful. <laughs> You're going to get into so much trouble with that. I think I will now. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, but see, this with the show was to help promote you, Ellie. Oh, no, sorry. Do it in the, book, me in the wrong the direction. <laughs> Uh, wow i can i can tell you some of the things that i know that men have asked for if this this will help okay well, obviously you have clothes. well now that you've mentioned it well, no, yeah. we don't talk about all the other things that men desire in well let's stick to the clothes <laughs> oh, I, I, ask. I have to oh, define ask. boundaries for elaine here, definitely yeah. won't be mom right then <laughs> no <laughs> Anyway, no, so like, okay, so my my sometimes better half, uh, Sean, he he loves the biker gear. There's mm -hmm. not a lot of good biker gear out there. Okay. Um, obviously, obviously, you have to watch out for trademark trademark stuff, but um, I mean, just good solid black vest, good, you know, uh, like the, the, it, with the patches. They love their patches. They love their little chains that are on it. The biker boots, you know, the the leather mm -hmm. chaps, you know, all that good stuff. They yep. really like that, right? Um, the other thing is that um, formal wear is formal wear is formal wear for men. I've never really seen a whole lot of difference in formal wear for men, even in real life, to be honest. They all look like penguins, maybe some different colored penguins, but they all look like penguins, right? Um, but the other thing is like you have your yuppies. So you have your polo shirts, you have your, um, you have your button down shirts, you have your t-shirts, you have mm -hmm. sweaters. And there's been some like uh, some really cool like I, I haven't really seen them like you know the nice leather patch going across with the the cashmere down at the bottom, you know just different looks and whatnot that some of these 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 guys would like. Then of course obviously I can't forget Bensky if I didn't mention the whole metal goth look. I mean, all right, yeah, seriously, you know the the emo look and all that. So I'm just, I'm just giving you some ideas. I don't know which ones mm -hmm. you prefer, but okay. yeah, I mean I need to bring in obviously things like that for too um i must admit i mean my clothes are what you call classical clothes very classic um i do a lot of gowns and stuff like that but yeah i need to sort of aim sort of to role playing sort of clothes if that makes sense um, oh sci-fi is a great idea tiana yeah sci-fi yeah absolutely i mean i i could make almost anything it's just getting that idea in my head the whole outfit and i do you a whole outfit. Because we can give you ideas all day long <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> just give me a list. <laughs> the, thing, um, the only issue, because the issue I have at the moment, because I'm obviously I'm splitting myself in half, because I'm in second life, and also I'm here in world so I do have to split myself in half. So the stuff won't come out as fast, because I have to work in second life too, because this is my real life job. I do earn a wage from it. So basically, splitting myself in half at the moment. So I'll try my best. 
foot in Wales too at the same time. How much time. work is it to to take something that you've created um, in Second Life as part of that job to bring that over to Inworlds? Um, um, it's not. It's, yeah, it's not too bad because I mean, obviously, I can bring it in to Inworlds with no no problem at all. So I can what I make in Second Life, I can put up for sale and then bring it into Inworlds at the same time. So yeah, but I'm what I'm doing is I'm doing catch up. So yeah. basically, there's an awful lot of stuff I have got about. I've got seven years worth of items. I think I've got over nearly five to 10,000 products right. that I, I haven't even touched like 100 for Inworlds yet. So yeah. I've still got loads of products to come in. Yeah, okay, some of them are a little bit dated, but I'm trying to update what I can to bring in Inworlds. So yeah, it does take time, you know. Yep. So, but yeah, it's, okay. uh, I did come in in 2014, um, but at the time I just felt that I was just me in this big world and there weren't yes. that many around, but, um, but I thought, no, I'll give it another go. So I'm glad I did really, because I've met up with Callie and Mike and they've, they've opened arms to me really. And yeah. um, they've been, they've been wonderful actually. They're very supportive. Yeah. So I was just wondering whether, um, I mean, you've got, you've got those products in Second Life. I wonder whether it would help you if people were to look at, are you, I assume you're on the marketplace in Second yes, Life. Yes, I am. Yeah. Um, so if people were to look at, um, at outfits or styles or genres or whatever that you do in Second Life, um, yeah. but some, whatever, and then say yeah, to you, I mean, they would like more of that here, would yeah. that help you in terms of But then of I, have a, I have some issues because some of the items that I have got on there, I do use some templates. I'm starting to make my own. <laughs> Uh, yeah. mesh um but it's the tos situation yeah, um obviously. i have been in contact with with many designers of mesh if i can bring it into inworlds and a lot of them have said yes some of them have said no so it's been very difficult really learning curve of saying can i bring it into this world and yes i have been charged some have let me bring them in for free because i've already paid for it if that makes sense um yes. So, you know, I have to go by their TOS, TOS rules because otherwise I don't want to be shot in the back or killed out because it is my real life job at the end of the day. So, yes. Yeah. Yep. No, I think I think it's I mean, the, the, the whole template thing, the whole um, content, the materials that we that we use to create something is is generally the biggest issue for yeah. for anybody, you know, sort of hopping across grids. Um, you know, it's, and it's difficult, as you say, you con you create the people who create the templates that you use, mm -hmm. you contact them and you say, you know, why don't you come across and you could have business there and yeah. whatever, sometimes it works. Um, other times, you know, with things like, it happens a lot with textures as well. Um, and sometimes people will sort of say, well, you know, I'll give you a license, you can, you know, you can sort of save it to your drive and use it on another, um, you yeah. know, on another grid and that's okay. But it is a big issue. I do respect that, you know, that that's, that's going to be a bit of a headache. So yes, you're moving towards more true. using, creating your oh. own resources. Yeah. 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 The basic is right, Lexi. They do. I mean, they, they own your items that you've paid for in your inventory. Um, yeah. If they give you the okay to use them in another grid, you're okay. Yes. Um, but other than that, if they, they say to me, right, I'm sorry, you've got to pay me 10,000 Lindens to another grid, then yeah, I'll do so. I'll do it because you know, I've spent time making my own textures on yes. them. And yes. I try and make it different from what the product was originally, if that makes sense. Yes. yes. Yeah. Make it no, my own. Does. Yeah. I mean, Teal, my partner who's out in the um, she creates a lot of, um, you know, a lot of stuff using component sculpts or textures, um, mm -hmm. but she's become increasingly creating her own textures for things, um, partly yeah. because it differentiates you from other people who might be using the same yeah. things to start with, but also because, um, you know, we've looked at, you know, sort of multiple grids and it's not something that we really sort of look at or focus on for the products that we use. I create a lot of, um, I've got some popular sort of scripted devices that then use the plants that Teal uses. Um, and she creates those plants and puts them all together, but they use textures and sculpts and mesh and whatever from other people. So, you know, it's impossible for, or at least hugely difficult for us to go over, um, you know, we get, we get asked all the time to bring some of those products to second life and who yeah. doesn't want a bit more income you know but it's exactly it's i mean i always have this argument in my head i think to myself right you you have given it to me full perm full permissions yep. yes they put a tos on it 
But to be honest with you, you've bought it. Surely you can do what you want with it. You've paid the full perm price. Yes. So that argument I have in my head. But then at the end of the day, I don't want to go against people's TOS, which, you know, yes. fine. But I just think I've paid for it. You've given it me full, full permissions. Full permissions to me yes. is different to... TOS. Do you know what I'm saying? It just I do. There's a very big argument I have in my head. Yeah, there's I, I mean I be. think it I think it's covered most clearly by um the people that sell textures through websites um that actually you know specifically target virtual worlds so you can buy um a set of textures from the website and the license will say that you can only use this on one grid or you you know you mm -hmm. pay a little bit more and you use it on you know on multiple grids yeah um, i'd like to see more of that kind of thing set up so rather than having to buy all that stuff in world um i mean you can import sculpts you can import mesh um to have that ability where we have more people that sort of sell um, digitally, so you can import it into whatever worlds. And even if you pay a little bit extra, it's not like double the price to use mm. on various grids. Even yeah. if you pay a little bit extra for that license, um, I think that would open up a lot more sort of um, creator multi-grid kind of um, options for people. Because yeah, because I think well, to be I, I, that license. Yeah, and, and another th another sort of argument I have in my head is that I am one person. Okay, I have the same name avatar in both worlds. Yep. I'm the same person in real life. I've paid it actually every is 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 or whatever is is or Lindens. It's yep. still come from real life money, which is out of my pocket in real life. So yes. I'm thinking I've paid it once. Why do I have to pay it again? Yes. Does that make sense? And I have this yes. another argument in my head. You know. You know, but, it's, it it's difficult, and I think that I just think there aren't a lot of people seeing the opportunity. Maybe, maybe a lot of creators on Second Life just aren't interested in the other grids, so they have that kind of you know blanket sort of like you can't use yeah, the other grid. Yeah, your hands are tied. Um, but others kind yeah. of have an equal kind of blanket option of saying yes, you can use it on any other grid as long as you bought it full perm. And it seems to be a kind of a split. There doesn't seem to be that encouragement to think well, you know, give somebody the option of being able to buy it for multiple grids and you know charge them an extra i don't mind what i pay to be honest exactly. with you I, yeah. I don't mind if they put like five thousand lindens ten thousand lindens it, I know, as long as i know that i can do what I want with it totally yeah. you know sell it in thousands of grids and do what i want with it do you know what i mean yeah. as long as i don't sell it as full perm i'm fair enough on that you know yep. but that is why i'm starting to do my own mesh stuff now because yes. of that um yep. It's a big learning curve, I can tell you. Um, yeah. Oh, huge. Um, you know, I'm actually learning retopologizing at the moment. I, I can uh -huh. make the stuff. I can rig it. I can wait it. It's the retopologizing. <laughs> well, yes. that's a long old bleeding word, but there you go. Um, yeah, yeah, so <laughs> so that's a big bloody it's, learning it's curve. It's a very complex set of skills. Um, oh, you know. I mean, making something it's, basic in mesh yeah. or whatever is, yeah. is it's, relatively It's harder easy in Second to, Life but, because there are yeah. so many sizes. Whereas yes. in this world, I'm lucky in a sense because there's only five sizes, which is the average large, medium, small, which is yeah. easy. But the other world, it's like, oh, my God, I've got Betraya, I've got Belize, I've got TMP, I've got Sling. I, oh, my yeah. God. I have on my floor about 15 different types of sizes. And I'm like, oh, my God, I can't do this. This is yep. ridiculous. <laughs> so if you, if, you could, if you could improve one thing in terms of your process of creativity, um, what would it be? To improve? Um, yeah, something technically that could, you know, suddenly turn up that would save you a huge amount of time or effort, you know, particularly something that you really hate. Oh, having. if there was if there was just one program a one mesh program because you use so many i use i use uh, marvelous designer I, I use blender and i use zbrush okay mm -hmm. if it was just one program that did all i'd be a happy bunny yeah yeah <laughs> it's it's the workflow 
thing. I mean, it is. It is the yeah, workflow. It's, it's the same. I mean, I, I script and I program, um, and I do that in real life as well. Um, yeah. And you get the same problem there. You're just sort of, you know, you're switching between various things, and there are these, um, you know, what they call integrated development environments that are supposed to mm -hmm. help you with all of it. But inevitably, you end up using something else as well. Um, yeah. And I, I don't, I'm not an expert on Blender. I create a few things and sort of dabble with it. But I found exactly the same thing with that. You know, Blender yeah. is, Blender is brilliant and whether it's just that the learning curve is incredibly difficult or whether it's simply that there are better there's better software for doing things like texturing um onto a mesh you know or whether you know you've well, got you, the conversion you can, and you, whatever yeah you i mean in photoshop i have a 3d avatar in photoshop and mm -hmm. then i can make i have like it in 2d and i have it in 3d so i can see it straight away for you before I bring it into in world, um, which is fair enough. But uh, I think you can also do it with clothes as well, mesh clothes. So, yep. but then again, you see, if I'm making the mesh clothes, I'll be making my own textures in in uh, Blender anyway. Yep. So you know, and, and getting the AO maps and and um, oh. the normal maps and stuff like that, you know. But uh, I can't do everything. I'm I'm learning more. But then I have, still have to produce in Second Life. I have to produce in In World, so I'm splitting myself three ways, yeah. probably. Yes. <laughs> so it would it. be nice. You said it, you said oh, I job. love it. You enjoy it. Well, that's oh, good. I love it. I mean, I'm very creative anyway. I mean, in real life, I, I act on stage. I'm an actress. So I do, like, amateur dramatics. Mm -hmm. Plus, also, I paint in real life. <laughs> so I am very um, Busy. artistic. Yeah. Yes. Very artistic. Well, that, that's brilliant. I mean, you know, I think that that if you're lucky enough to get to do what you love doing, um, then it's worth all the hassles that you deal with. Mm. Um, so I should just say, by the way, um, Elenia's power went out. Um, that's why she's disappeared. Um, ah. So I'm kind of winging it and asking what I hope are interesting questions for people. Um, but we need to wrap up reasonably soon. Um, is there anything you would like to add? Is there anything that that you would like to sort of say to people? Well, I'm hoping that I can bring something into In Worlds as I do in Second Life and branch out a bit more so I can cover everybody that I can produce what they want, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's good. I mean, would, would, does it help if people get in touch and sort of say, you yes. know, I'd, I'd really like you to bring something like this in? So. Yes. Uh, if, okay. if people had pictures from the internet and uh, they see something they like, they send it to me, I'll do my best to get near as possible. I do it for wedding gowns for people. And yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. The only other thing I was going to ask you, we had a couple of creators. Um, um, you know, I understand about what you said about the workflow and what you have to do in Second Life and what you have to mm -hmm. do in Worlds. Um, I know obviously it's a small audience here, um, but I've known a few creators that um, that are sort of, you know, huge in Second Life that have come over to In Worlds and actually find themselves doing the creation part of it within In Worlds and then shipping it back. Um, and importing it into Second Life, mainly because it's a lot, you know, you don't pay for texture uploads and things like that um, within yeah. InWorld. So and which is what I've been and, doing. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask whether you'd found that. Julia yes. Hassel, who unfortunately, because of real life, um, sort of an, a, an, a huge take on her time in real life, had to leave InWorld. Um, but she was doing that. Um, and I know of a couple of other creators. So I wondered if you'd found that. Yeah, I have been doing that uh, because it's obviously it's free upload and everything. Yeah. But a lot of the time, um, I do actually do. Um, oh God, you know when you just like edit a cardigan or top or, yes. or dress, and it's all lo I do it local, so it's, so it changes every time I'm yes. having to adapt it. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, Lovely. I can't think of anything more directly. Um, I feel a little lost without Elenia here. Um, but thank you very much for your time. Um, oh, you're very welcome. And we will make sure that we get the word out. Um, and... Yeah, if people just want anything Pacific, I'll do my best yep. and, and bring it in world and or do what I can anyway. Excellent. Um, and on a final note, I'm very glad to see that the uh, the Brits took over the show. It's Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, oh, thank you Britannia, very much, Ellie. Britannia All rules right. the waves. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. We should own the place. That's why you're slowly take over. It's a good job All you right. didn't think I was Australian. <laughs>
<laughs> oh god yes that's the other thing so yeah yeah i think i think we confuse them it's the it's Probably. it's our sophistication you know that they, now that doesn't i think work, that's what it is i think it's what it is yeah but uh i'll 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 finish here before we get uh, mobbed by um all those foreigners out in the audience <laughs> all right guys yeah. well i'm gonna end it here thank you for being <laughs> thank here you, thank everyone. you for listening thank you. um and thank we'll you see welcome. you in about a month all right cheers take care folks Bye.